Okay, everybody, we're gonna make banana pudding today. <laughs> so good. Good, good, good. Okay, first, I got a, a double boiler, and I got water in it. And then, on top of the double boiler, goes the next little pot that fits into it, that makes it a double boiler. And in here, I've got a half a cup of sugar, and a third of a cup of flour. And right now, I'm just kind of blending it around where we can put the egg yolks in it, and it'll blend good. So, we've got that started now. And now, here's three egg yolks. We've separated the eggs. We need the white for the meringue. So, we've got the three egg yolks, and they're all ready stirred. So, we're going to add them to this. And then to this, we're going to add two cups of milk. Okay, everybody, so what I've already got in the double boiler, I'm going to add two cups of whole milk. If you use that diet stuff, you can cut it down to low fat. But I don't use diet stuff in nothing I cook. So we got one. I want to get another cup full. Two cups of milk, and now we're going to blend all this together. When I get it blended, it's going on the heat where we can cook it. It doesn't cook long, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, okay. Maybe, well, you can tell when it starts getting thick. You don't want it to get real, real thick, just thick enough for a, a creamy pudding. I got you. Okay, so. All right, now we've got this together. Now, over, over to the heat we go. And you say for what, 10 or 15 minutes on the heat? As this water, when this, it's not gonna just suddenly start cooking, the water's gonna start to boil in the bottom pot. And the water that's boiling is what's going to cook the pudding in the double boiler. Okay, Mama, what temperature are you starting that out on? I've got it set on medium okay. till the water comes to boil, and that'll just about stay on medium uh, the majority of the time because it doesn't take 10, not over 12 minutes to cook this filling because it's going to get, once it gets heated, it's going to begin to thicken real quick. Okay. So we're at this stage now. Okay, everybody, our filling for the banana pudding is done. So I've removed it from the heat, and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring to it. Just pour it in like that. And we're going to stir it up good. That's looking good. It don't take long to make this. You just get your stuff together and knowing what you're doing while you're doing it. Our next step is going to be to take our bowl that we're going to put it in and line the bottom of it with vanilla wafers. Okay. okay. That's five bananas. It's all we've already sliced up. And this is about a, that's probably a two quart bowl, I'm going to say. Close enough, anyway. Yeah, two or four right in there. <laughs> okay, now in this, we're going to line up the wafers. You always start with the wafers on the bottom. Why, wow, I don't know, but that's what the box said. <laughs> I guess it sort of makes like a little crust. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it's all good with it's crust pudding or banana. That's right. <laughs> Bananas. Y'all, this is so good. Y'all need to try this recipe. And you may make it a little bit different, but uh, this is what she's made it for a long time. Okay, that's good. Now we're going over here to where the sliced up bananas are. I'm going to pick up some. 
Lay them on top of the vanilla wafers. And you're supposed to have five bananas and 45 vanilla wafers for the whole thing. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Oh, this is the five bananas that we chopped up. So you're just evenly putting them on the bottom of the And then just spread wafers. it out. And then you're going to you. pour the pudding on top of this. Just sort of even it out to where you can pour pudding and they'll all get some on it. Okay. All right, now. And now we're going to the pudding part. Remove it off because it's good to go. Getting it off the double boiler. Be careful with the double boiler too because the pots are hot and the water is hot in that boiler too. Now I'm going to get a spoon. My spatula will be okay with it. Just nice and creamy. Now we're just going to, it's pourable, so we're just going to kind of look at it and pour the pudding mix over it. It's supposed to make at least two layers like this. Okay. That'll be the last, for the last thing. Okay, now we're going back to the... Vanilla wafers. I'm layer them in there. Just lay them there. Kind of push it a little bit where it won't be falling everywhere. Some people eat this stuff when it's hot. I like to put mine in the refrigerator to cool it down some. Where it seems to have a better taste to me when it's cool than when it's hot. Oh, I love it hot too, though. Just as good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, if you start eating it, when, if you start eating when it's hot, you're gonna have it all eating your mouth, nothing to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's easier to do too. And it's good. You can eat it hot or cold, whichever one you like. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So basically, what you're doing is on top of your pudding mix. Uh, you put layer. another layer of vanilla wafers, and then you're going to put more bananas on top of that. That's right. More okay. bananas is coming. You spread this out. And you usually have two layers. Okay, I've got two layers. Of so pudding, bananas, and... Uh, pudding, bananas, and vanilla wafers. Looking good. These things are a little on the slick side. <laughs> it ain't something you're going to throw in there right quick. You just need them uh, separate enough where you can pour the filling over them. Okay, and go all in between them and stuff. I got yeah, and not have a bunch piled up in one place. Right, but they ain't got no pudding with it, I guess. Yeah. They fall down on the side, that don't hurt it at all. Okay, now we'll put some more pudding on it. It's the pudding that may, makes the banana pudding. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so good. This filling is what brings it all together. Okay, now we're going to pour some more over the bananas. And I'm going to save that little bit for the top, the end of it. Okay, okay. You can kind of do it like this where the pudding itself will level out and begin to spread. Yeah. All right, now I'm going back again. Put some more. Another layer of 
Yeah, but you don't want to put quite as many as you did on the others because you're fixing to run out. You're running up to the top. And you'll wind up with not enough of filling to completely cover it. So just kind of work your way up it as you got filling in bananas and stuff. Okay. No more bananas. Mm. Two in the bowl at one time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of comments about a little dog shepherd in here too, and we had to put him out. Every time I get close to mama, he attacks my boots, and man, he just goes to town. He won't let nobody close to mama. No, nobody. <laughs> That's what shepherd. He's just overly protective, and I love the little puppy. He loves me. He watches out, and nobody gets on my front porch without. <laughs> Hearing from Shepherd. That's right. I had a man the other day. I have medicine delivered by the UPS people. And I knew it was coming and you have to sign to get this medicine. So when he pulled up, Shepherd was just a raving. And I got up, I knew it was him, went to the door and opened the front door. And the man from the UPS, we got a long driveway. He was way down on the end of the driveway standing beside his truck. And he said, are you Miss Woods? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, will you come out and come out here and shut that door where that dog can't get me? <laughs> That's how I got my medicine that day. I said, yeah, I can. And I eased out without Shepherd and got on the steps. And he brought it up there and I could sign for it then. I told him, I said, now, you better hurry before I let Shepard <laughs> run. Uh -oh. He got in that truck and he was glad to go. <laughs> so that was the day the deal with Shepard that day. Okay, we're going back to the... We got enough of filling now to go over what I put in there. I'm just going to kind of pile the last of the filling on top and let it blend in with what I put up there. About it. Now if you really like a a lot more filling in it than what the recipe calls for. You can double this filling. You probably can't cook it like that, but you can cook two batches of the filling and use that and you'll have lots of filling. But this is good for this type of recipe, no bigger than it is, uh, just like it is. Okay. Okay, now I need my spoon and I'm gonna spread this a little bit. Covering it over. Because on top of this, we're going to end with some vanilla wafers. Just the vanilla wafers. We've got plenty of bananas, lots of cookies, lots of filling. What I like on top is that meringue you made. Yeah, and the meringue goes on it next. All right, now we're going to end with a few on the top. And you sort of space a few around on the top of it. Because the meringue's going on top of this. And we haven't got that made yet. Okay, that's the pudding until we get the meringue on it. All right, Mama, let's show them how to do the meringue next. Okay, everybody. 
The timer's went off. It's time to take it out of the oven. So I've cut the oven off, and we're going to get it out and let it set on the stove top where it can cool because it's really, really hot. And please be careful when you get it out because this is hot and heavy. Okay, look at that. All right, everybody, there it is. That's a real beautifully brown meringue on top. Mom, any final thoughts before we go? Well, I've enjoyed ma making this for y'all, and I hope you enjoy it. And most of all, I hope you learn to make it yourself. You've got the recipe now, so have fun with it. All right. Thanks, y'all, for watching.